I deliberately included that lullaby in this concert because you'll hear it referenced at the conclusion of the next piece. But first I'm going to sing you a melody my father wrote to a poem by Lord Byron. Uh, Byron always, also gives a little expl explanatory note that I'll read at the end. Dad used to sing this to me when I was sick and on my request he sang it a number of times in memory of my mother including just one week before he died. Five years ago following her death I wrote a series of variations on this theme for him to play with me, which he did. And after I sing you his tune, Dan will play it with me. So here's the tune. Maid of Athens, ere we part, give, oh, give me back my heart. Or since that has left my breast, keep it now and take the rest. Hear my vow before I go. Zoe Musa Sagapo. By those tresses unconfined, wooed by each Aegean wind, by those lids whose jetty fringe kiss thy soft cheek's blooming tinge, by those wild eyes like the roe, Zoe Musa Sagapo. Maid of Athens, I am gone. Think of me, sweet, when alone. Though I fly to Istanbul, Athens holds my heart and soul. Can I cease to love thee? No. Zoe Musa Sagapo. Zoe Musa Sagapo, a Romaic expression of tenderness. Byron writes, if I translate it, I shall affront the gentlemen, as it may seem that I supposed they could not. And if I do not translate it, I may affront the ladies. For fear of any misconstruction on the part of the latter, I shall do so, begging pardon of the learned. It means, my life, I love you, which sounds very prettily in all languages, and is as much in fashion in Greece at this day as Juvenal tells us the two first words were amongst the Roman ladies, whose erotic expressions were all Hellenized. Lord Byron. <laughs> and now the variation. <laughs> 